So, ganun lang pala yung functionality, no? Okay, next data set. Uh, so, data set. Okay. Data set. Okay. So, what I did was, I tried to come up with a very, very similar uh, behavior. But this is, I'm using a data set. Okay. Uh, a lot of things went away. So if you're gonna use the data set, okay, you're gonna use a data set, uh, you only need to don't really need to create a separate connection. Okay, unless you're gonna use a single connection multiple in multiple places. You don't really need to explicitly create a connection. Okay, here I just want to populate the data set. Okay? And I just need the connection once. So notice I just initialize SQL data adapter with the connection string. I don't have a separate connection object. Okay, then I just created that data adapter, and this is the data set, new data set, and just called fill. Okay, see so fill, compare and fill, ang ginawa niya ay, it checks the connection is not open, so I'll open that. So since I open it, I will close that. Okay, but there's something I missed. Okay, I think this is disposable, I should also call dispose, so I should have used using. Diba? Or I have a try catch finally. Okay. So you should have used using it. So I let me dispose that uh, to make sure that connection is closed. If I forget about it, I open it is your space. Okay? Now, once you fill this, it will go to the database and load all the roles that you asked for. In this case, it will just it will get the 10 persons. And it will create a data table from within that data set. Okay? Sampung rows yeah. So Within the table data set, I have, I want the first table, and I want to get all the rows of the first table, and show it to me. Okay, so ganun lang yun. Okay, so it's similar, but you're now accessing a data set, and within that data set, the first table, in that first table, get all the rows. Okay, data set, you can have multiple tables. Each table may have rows. Okay, so ganyan. But I was never happy with this. Why? Because in the first place, you don't name your table. Diba? Alam na table person na kukunin mo, etc. Would it be possible if I have a strongly typed data set? Okay. When you say a strongly typed data set, can I do this? Okay. Can I call my table instead of table zero? person table can i say a person can have person phone and that thing gets called person phone table and within that table i could have person row diba logical diba so you could actually create a type data set by what right clicking add new item okay stop muna natin Add new item. Okay. Uh, where is that? The value of that? Data set. <laughs> Data set. Yeah. So once you have that, you'll end up with this empty designer. So you go to the server. Let's go server. Then you look at your server. Yes. Then tables. Ayan. Tables. I need them. I have so many servers. Uh, add connection. That. Uh, this is. What did I use? Adventure works. Okay. Okay. I could now drag and drop these things here. Okay, so once you drag and drop these things, because of the foreign key relationship, it will now detect this. Okay? It will now create those relationships. So what can we do with this thing? Okay. A lot. Okay. So with those name types I want to come up with a more complex example here. So type data set. With a type data set 
it's a two part. I commented this out. I'll show you how to update the type data, how to update the data set. I want to be uh, more courageous in my example. I want to issue two select statements in one go. Diba? You can separate your set statements in SQL using a semicolon. Correct? So I said, select as is from person, that person ordered by that name. Tapos, select as is from person, by person home. Okay? So I just made sure, no, as is, diba, from person to person. Uh, this is actually a cheat. Okay, I cheated this. I cheated here because there's a relationship between person and person code, right? Diba? So actually, there's a problem here because you know, kinuha ko lahat. So meron kang part na hindi mag-relation, nag okay. Let's hope na hindi mag-error ba. Okay? So what you sh what should be done is usually just select the persons that you need, then you join it here, then just select the person who are present in that place. Okay? So, okay. So I issued two queries. So what do I do next? Okay. Okay. So, ang problem kasi may issue a query na ganyan, internally, si adapter, it will name those tables. The first table, second table, one, two, three, table two, table three, table four, then five, table n, whatever that table. Okay. But I know the first table is person, the second table is person phone. Okay. So, I issue these select statements, I expect two result sets, and I want to name the first result set as person, the second set result, second result set as person phone, so that later on when I fill this up, I could access the data set that person. Okay? So, in this data set table zero, where na kung data set that person, where na kung say data set that person a phone. Okay? Let me find it. May ko lang napansin, may bug. So, yung rinan ko, hindi nag-error. So, dali ng data. Swerte ng data nito. Hindi mo kayo nag-file it. Hindi. Sa data error. Kasi wala, hindi nakarelate. So, hindi siya ako nag-error ng relationship error kanina. So, ibig sabihin, ang ganda ng laman ng data. Okay? Reference lahat may phone. Okay. Lahat may phone. So, yeah, nalo niya ito, di ba? Ito yung lahat na table, ito yung nandun sa ano. So, remember, all the phones are in the in memory. So, so advantage yun if everything is in memory. When I click on this, di ba, usually pagka-click mo ito, select from database, kukunin yung scene ito, kaya-ari nito, tas ito. So, instead of doing that, di ba, nakita yung functionality, nagbabago ito. What I did was, what? So, kung hindi na nagigit yung orphan doon sa ano mag-error yun? Pag ganyan lang ginawa. So, person this box select in exchange. So what I did was, gagawin lang natin is, di ba usually, i-access mo sa database ulit yung data, yung dependent. What I did was, simply get whatever was the the person. I got the person from the selected item. Okay? Then, uh, phone this. Kinuha ko yung, remember, related, di ba? Kinuha ko yung item which is a person row, magkakaroon ka na ngayon, since may relationship yung person at saka yung person phones, I could just say, item that get person phone rows. Hindi ko pinogram to, generate to lang. Type this set. This gets a relationship. So mayroon siya strongly type relationship between those data tables that are related to. Okay? Now, how do you update? So when I was using this one time, minsan, meron kang update parent at child relationship, di ba? Meron mga rules, di ba? Mauna si parent. Aba, kung nag-delete ka ng ano, nag-delete ka ng parent, dapat, i-delete mo muna yung mga anak bago yung parent. Kasi pag dinin mo parent, ma-orphan yung anak, di ba? Tapos pag insert ka naman ng bagong header at detail, dapat una mo insert yung header bago yung details. Kasi kung ino na mo insert yung detail, yung prior foreign key niya, hindi pa nag-exist sa header, di ba? So, kung, kung meron kang ganung data set na pwede multiple tables, pwede ka mag-update sabay-sabay, di ba? Paano mo i-update ng tamang order? Okay? Noon, pinaprogram ko pa yan. Hanapin mo kung ano yung nagbago, sino header detail. But, now, sa yung cursor, wala na akong cursor, 
and studies. Okay, so if I let's say update the first row, so I'll just set two 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 kanya eh. Tapos yung 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 let's say yung name tinitong ko ng dash. Tapos gawin ko two two two. All I have to do is this one. Okay, there's what called an adapter manager. Okay, ano kita ko ng adapter manager? Dapat mali siya adapters. Okay, so so when you do type data set. Each table, gagawin siya adapter. Remember adapter, di ba? Siya yung bridge between the database to dataset and it's also used from dataset back to the database by calling update. Okay? So, gagawin mo, you create a data uh, adapter manager and associate at yung person for table, di ba? No. Internally, siya naman mahala ng ordering ng insert ng update. Just call update all. Okay? Update all. Okay? Gusto niyo makita mag-work to? Okay, so let's do an F5. So notice na i-display niya muna yung data. Okay, bago niya yung update, no? Type data set. Dito, click on this. Yes. So yung adapter manager may sarili na intelligence kung ano yung unahin yes. niya. In fact, you could see the actual code. Because it's a generated code if you go to the generated code. Diagram, you'll see na check niya kung sino na-delete, sino insert update, blah, blah, ano yung update order. Okay? So, ang ginawa, well, at the load, sa kanya i-update, so makikita mo, ito abas, wala pang dash, diba? Pero pag tinig ko ito, natututo na kasi nag-update muna tayo. So, if I run this again, delay kasi, so, type data set ulit. Malalagay niya yung dash sa taas. Yuhu! Okay, may dash na. Okay, delay kasi nag-display mo na ako ng task bago kong dumping. Okay? So, if I click on this, set the one of them. Okay? So, sa kanya na yung intelligence. So, mas advice ako na gamitin yung strongly type kaysa mag... Personally, yes. May nakalaban akong tao. Sabi niya, may mas babagal yung strongly type. Tapos, ang counter ko naman sa kanya, strongly type medyo mas extra code, di ba? na kasi ang maganda dito is when you access a row, a person row, tapos kunyari may age, pagkakuha mo, it's integer na kagad, strongly typed integer. Pag you use the generic data set, hindi mo pa alam, kakas ka pa, di ba? So, parang mas mabagal kasi kailangan mo pa kinasan niya para sa'yo. Pero if you use the generic data table, itakas mo rin naman, di ba? So, mas mabagal na, yung code na yun, nakakalat pa sa sa whole base mo. So, I know it's just like Okay, now, okay ba yung type data set? Kasi, pero huwag kayo magagalit sa akin, ha? Kasi, ang next topic is... Ano yun? Sige, tatapusin ko na. Kasi later on, papakita natin, there's a better way to use... There are better things to do... There are better technologies to use than data set. Okay? Kasi yung data set, 19... Ayun, 2000... Three, ayon two thousand. Ayon last year lang, ma two years, two thousand two years ago, meron ng TNT framework, link to SQL, mas high tech na yon, mas okay, iba. But but the thing there is, ADO that that is just a step higher than yung alam natin na ADO that in the record set. So it may be easier for you to utilize that in your existing plan conversion as opposed to going directly to the high end. Okay, so this is just a summary of the difference. ADO is record set, well, data set, data leader, join query supports data relation, etc. Okay, disconnected cursors are not to go, there's not to maintain database locks. Kasi remember, pagka data adapter, it will get everything as fast as possible, tapos nasa iyo na yung copy. Okay, so if you really want to go further with this, you could come up with optimistic locking technology, there are many events in data table, kung may mag-save ka na na nakuha mong data, stale na, pwede ka maglabas ng events, sabi mo, uy, nagbago na data mo, talagang itutol yung bato, whatever. Okay, there's this whole set of things that you could still do if you want to use it. Okay? Okay? Next! Kaya pa nyo? Kaya pa? Okay? Ito na ako, nakakaya mo. Okay? Personally, ang habol ko lang is yung first part. Alam